Hey everybody, how's it going? We're going to talk today about making cornice moldings and this is uh, different than crown moldings in that they're on the outside of the building. For example, this one is on the outside uh, leaning away from the building and then it wraps back around around the corner and this one is just a straight cornice with no wrap around and then these buildings were brought up to it and uh, let's, let's uh, see how we do that alright so we're just gonna hide all that and we're gonna bring up a uh, cube of course Oops. you can do it with fluent but let's uh, do a blender's cube and we're going to go into edit mode because you don't want to do any scaling in object mode because then you have to apply the scale scale y scale x scale z and let's turn on our screencast keys while we're at it all right so uh, first thing you want to do is we need some uh, edges, some loops. So control R. We're going to bring this up to here. And if you if you wanted to make it wrap it around just a little bit, you need another one here, like so. And now. We're going to face mode. Now I'm using a uh, machine tools. It's the same thing as going up here and, and enabling which uh, mode you want up there. So let's uh, select this, select that, select this, and we're going to go to face extrude along normals. And as if you notice, this uh, the one on the edge. Uh, extrudes disproportionately so up here on the left you can see it says S or Alt even thickness off so you can press Alt or S and now it uh, extrudes uh, correctly so this is how it's going to be done we're going to go in edge mode I'm going to select this edge and this edge and this edge and we're going to control B control B and get your bevel kind of where you want it and now to get your profile come down here to bevel and we want uh, more than one segment to give it detail so let's give it about nine and we're going to go to custom profile and I've already got one in here, but if you don't have um, have this in here, you can just uh, click, and it creates a point. And then if you want to have handles on it, or if you want it to be sharp, you click this. Um, if you want handles to be on it, you would click one of these two. So if I want it to be sharp and have handles so I can manipulate it, I would uh, click that one. So this is your profile, and here's your cornice. Now you need to have enough segments to make this profile. So if you don't have enough segments, you won't get that profile. So you have to have at least enough segments to uh, get the profile that you're drawing. And what's nice is this bevel profile will stay in there, so if we go to do our next building, it will be in there. And then let's just do it on the, on the back here to show the uh, straight cornice. And it's basically the same thing. Um, we're going to extrude. And this is the difference. We're not going to need to extrude this because we're not wrapping around. Go into edge mode, select this edge, and just uh, bevel that one. Control B. And there we go. And as you can see, the profile 
was already in there. So we didn't have to go over here and redo it. It's using the same one. And that's how you get your corners on your building. And then if you want to uh, rob the profile, what you would do is when you're in edit mode and you're in vertex mode, what you can do is uh, select these vertices and then you would uh, shift D and uh, hit return and then P separate by selection. Now when you go into object mode you've got your profile here and you would go to object convert to curve because you want your profile to be a curve and then you would use that curve on the uh, bezier curve uh, over here on this uh, on the modifier and that's what I did with this arch here I just uh, separated this edges made them new converted to a cur curve and then I use that profile as the profile for that so this curve profile and this profile or the, actually this isn't a curve profile this is just a bevel so this bevel profile and this curve profile matched and there's plenty of toots on uh, YouTube about doing a uh, curve profile but I thought I'd show this easy approach to doing a cornice without going into curves